What's up everybody? In this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to paint this painting step by step, but remember, make mistakes, let loose, enjoy yourselves, and I hope you have a great time. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Brushing Up with Sean. I am Sean and I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a painting today. It's purely improv. I'm just actually kind of just winging it and I'm going to do it with a few different colors. So check them out. We've got green, blue, red, yellow, and white. So if you want to follow along, feel free. And yes, I am sunburned as can be all today. So pay no attention to that. All right. We'll have fun. All right. So let's get started on this painting. You see I've got my plate palette right here. And basically with the acrylic paint that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna start working on background stuff. All right, I've got my brushes next to me. I'm gonna go ahead and lock down this canvas. And that way it's nice and steady, doesn't move. So what I'm gonna do is a bright, beautiful, colorful background. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a nice yellow line going right across. Now you can mess up you can make mistakes, all right? This is just some background stuff. We're gonna just have some fun with it. And you're more than welcome to paint the side edges of your canvas. That's entirely up to you as an artist if you'd like to do that. Sometimes I like to paint it plain black and that typically uh, kind of makes it a nice framing look. So what I'm doing is going back and forth, side to side motion, and I'm letting the paint basically go as far as I can go without putting any more in my brush. And let's see how far I can take this. Now again, we are using acrylic paint. It's a basic acrylic. There's no very expensive acrylic paints that I want you to have to get. All right, especially if you're a beginner, you don't need to go out and get the base, big expensive stuff. There's no need for that. That's later on when you're a pro. All right, as you can see, I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas, okay? Now sometimes you will get bristles. You can see I got a bristle that just popped off of that and it's just right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my little easel. And you can see that I'm covering it up pretty quickly. Now with this, I wanna add a little bit of dimension and background, not just plain yellow. I do want to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a highlight within this. Okay, this is really bright, really vibrant, but I want to just actually add it a little bit more and break it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more white paint on that same brush. And I'm going to blot and dab some texture and just change the dynamics of this background. I blot and I dab, I just kind of just twist the brush a little bit maybe. And that paint, that yellow paint's still drying, but what the white does is it adds a nice little bit of highlight to it. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, you can see right there. Whoa. And the further I dab and keep going with it, it starts to turn a little bit more light yellow in different areas. But I still want to see some of that regular yellow just to add that nice background. And it's okay. You don't have to do it. You can add an orange if you'd like. I'm just brightening up this thing just real fast. And as you can see, I'm doing it so fast because I'm not caring. I'm, I'm just doing, letting the brush do the work, doing what it can and I'm not overthinking it. Too many times people overthink their art and their painting and boy oh boy, it really starts to change. Okay, so I'm gonna set this brush down. It's got yellow and white on it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another brush. Um, I'll use another large size brush and I'm gonna put some plain blue and I'm gonna go all the way down here on the bottom and cover all of this white. I've got a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm trying to just get it off there. And you're gonna see some texture start to happen on this guy. Really a fun set. You can see how vibrant these basic acrylics are. Okay, I've used three colors so far. 
And again, I'm going pretty fast, so you can see with these large brushes, they cover a good amount of space very quickly. And I'm not really caring about perfection at all, because this is background stuff. In fact, I don't want you to care about perfection really at all during the entire process. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little bit up here. It might turn a little green on you, just because that blue is mixing with your yellow, two primary colors, making a secondary. And voila! You have got a canvas that is full of paint. That is the first step. That is how we rock these things out. We just go with the flow and make it all happen. So I want you to take a break. All right, I know you've got this all set and we're gonna start working on our feature. So an easy way to really kind of get the results that you're looking for with the painting is to almost be able to draw with your paintbrush. And you can do that with some plain white and a flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just start drawing some of our main focus here. I'm gonna make like a nice little loop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one right here. And I'm gonna make a smaller one right here. All I'm doing right now is mapping out the painting that I wanna do. I'm gonna add maybe a tall, skinny loop right here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and frame it good and add a nice tall skinny loop right here. So as you can see, I am just drawing with my paintbrush, adding some awesome texture. You're starting to see maybe some of the furthest things back. And you can start just having fun with this. You can make it your own. I'm making these little uh, if you haven't guessed it yet, obviously, and you probably seen this the intro already, I'm making some cactus right here. So I like to, you know, when I'm doing my painting events, keep it a surprise to a lot of the people and just show them at the end. That way they don't ever overthink some of this stuff because sometimes you get people that really, you know, get a little bit psycho about stuff. <laughs> so I try to keep it, you know, keep it light, keep it fun and that's it. Okay, so now I have actually drawn out all of the cactus that I want to work on today. Now, a lot of these smaller ones down here, I'm going to go ahead and paint in um, a little bit just plain white. Now, you might get some of that blue on there, light blue. You might get some of that yellow and green. That's fine. That's no problem. All you want to do is just add a little bit more white or just let that dry off a little bit, and that will start... Um, changing. It'll, you, you, once you add another layer of white on there, we can do that in a little bit. Um, that, that, all those colors will go away. You'll just see a lot more just plain white. So all I'm doing is just filling them in. And again, I'm using a flat brush. This one's a large brush, I would call it. Uh, I like to use large brushes just because they cover so much more ground. And I'm actually just filling these in as they are appearing. And so what I have to do right now is I'm remembering every step that I do on this painting because I'm going to be teaching this painting at a, one of my painting events. Um, it's like I do a lot of paint and sip events. So that means a lot of people um, get together, have fun, maybe have some cocktails, a little bit of wine, whatever. And I teach them how to paint paintings. And I've taught quite a few people how to paint. So I'm just remembering right now, how did I paint this painting? How did I do it? And sometimes, you know what? It shifts, it changes. Sometimes the way I do the painting might change when I do it with you in person. I might be like, you know what? Maybe I like this a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm mapping it out. You can see these cool little cactus right down here. We'll eventually add some more detail and fun stuff like that. I'm gonna set this brush down. And I'm gonna grab another brush, this is another flat brush. Again, I'm not using expensive brushes. I'm not using, um, you know, these amazing, like high dollar stuff. I want you to be able to have a little bit of fun and, you know, make this affordable. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make a dot right here with red. Okay, I'm gonna make this a red cactus right here. And I'm gonna do that by, I'm just gonna add a nice little line kind of thing going right here. So with cactus, they kind of like sprout out from a certain focal point or a certain area. 
that's exactly what we're doing right now. We are actually making a cactus, but we're adding a fun angle on it. All right, so I'm just adding these lines that are coming out from that circle. And this is such a fun step because you can so see how we're gonna make this. I'm gonna just go ahead and paint this in red. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this in red. Go ahead and paint that. And as we go along further and further, you can see that there are those lines coming out. It's just so cool just to see those come alive. And I'm not using black lines to like, sh to like shape it out. Uh, a lot of people do that. It kind of looks a little bit more cartoonish, I would say, if you do add black lines. Um, you're more than welcome to though, whatever you want. I mean, you're the artist. So as you can see, I'm just sprouting out from that circle. Okay. Now I know in, you know, my coloring ability that, uh, you know, we have a couple of different primary colors that can make a secondary color and that's gonna, we're gonna make some purple. So I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue and red, a little bit more red than the blue. And I'm gonna make purple or maybe like a Cabernet, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Whatever it is, it's fun, okay? I'm gonna make my dot. This one's gonna go right here. And now I'm gonna start making my two lines. I'm gonna color it in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a gap. And now I'm gonna color in these lines. And again, I'm just doing this off the hip. <laughs> I know it's a little crazy, and I know like, you know, you want to. Some people like really want perfection, but again, just have fun with it. Mess up, make some, make those mistakes. Show some texture, have some fun with it. I don't know, just let loose. Too many times, people are just so uptight about trying to make it perfect. Don't worry about that. All right, there we go. So you can see I'm adding some pretty awesome lines going in here and texturizing this thing. That's okay if you come into these cactus right here, don't worry, we'll fix that a little bit later on. No need to worry about that. And again, I'm just gonna thicken that out so you can see what's going on. Now over here, I do actually wanna make a kind of a blue. Uh, let's see, let's see if it can work. Yeah, I guess it can. Got a little bit of purple in there, but you know what? The pride, but you're gonna mostly see um, a blue, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, that's a pretty dark blue. Wow, and it's because of that purple is in there. Okay, eventually, what we can do is we can go over it, just like I just did right now, and you can see I added way more blue, so that purple is getting off of my brush. Top that bad boy off. Let's go ahead and go over some of this right here. Make it a little bit more blue. Okay, I'm coming into that one. Don't want that. It's okay. Like I said, I teach these in just a couple hours, and you know, we just have fun. We just let loose a little bit, okay? So I've got my cactus right there. That's already a good start. Um, what we're going to do is I want to wipe off these brushes, kind of clean them off, and we're going to continue on to our next few steps. We're going to make it happen. Now, I want you to remember that these are just the basics, okay? I don't want you to freak out. I don't want you to like be like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I want you to just have fun, okay? That's what this is all about. It's just learning the paint, learning the brushes, and really essentially, we are like so far from like trying to like make this perfect right now. We're gonna go back and forth. You're gonna see that as we do this painting, that we're gonna be making mistakes. We're gonna be making some adjustments. We're gonna change things. That's the way these paintings roll. We, we just keep going with it and we add layer after layer. These are really honestly still base layers. Surprisingly, I know, right? They're just base layers. We're just adding the, just a few little things 
that just kind of make these paintings come together. And I'm working, as you can see, talking to you, you know, working on some of these uh, larger cactus in the background, these taller bad, bad boys right here. Okay, so I've got that. I think that's about all I want for the red. Um, I don't need a whole lot more red. I want to add a little bit more greens, blues, maybe a few more purples, and we're going to do that with some pastels. Um, but eventually what we're going to do, um, I want to go ahead and do this actually first before we kind of move on. We're going to go ahead and add some green on our other brush. Oh yeah. I'm going to change this dynamic. I know you've been waiting for it. And as you can see, I'm leaving some of those gaps of the green just to like show off some of that fun yellow kind of like accent. It's kind of a fun background cactus kind of deal. All right. And there we go. Don't worry, we're on low lights, highlights, all sorts of cool things. I'm going to use the same brush and let me show you what I mean by pastels. Pastels are awesome because all you need to do is add a little bit of white. And since we have let some of this dry off here, I'm gonna go ahead and just practice with it and just see how I can cover some of that original guy. And look at that, I can cover it now with that green and white pastel because we added that first initial layer. Remember that layer that we added on? That's it, that's what that thing did. And you can pick and choose the cactus that you, whatever color you want, and. You know, just have fun with it, okay? And trust me, we're gonna add some shadowing, we're gonna add some layering and all that, but I want you to have some fun picking your colors of your cactus. Which ones do you want? Which ones, you know, you do I want this one a blue one, this one a purple one, a yellow one? This is a colorful painting. And I'm just kind of going off the fly, just saying, you know what, I want that one, see? But since we added that first layer of white, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like you can see that there's literally no of that yellow and blue showing underneath. Acrylic paint dries really fast so we can actually add these layers. Now I'm just adding maybe a little bit of plain green on here just to see what it will do if we add some shadowing. That paint is still wet, so I'm gonna leave it alone obviously and just let it do its thing, okay? Now I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm gonna eventually go over and start uh, putting in some, maybe some pastel light blues and purples, you know, just to have a little bit of fun with this. So go ahead and clean off your brushes. All right, welcome back. And hopefully you've cleaned off some brushes, just use some water and just rinse those bad boys off. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pastel blue now. Um, so as you can see, it's already a little bit of pastel blue already. So I can just kind of add some white on it and just keep that pastel look going with the blue. All right, there's really not a whole lot of change other than like maybe smoothing it out and just seeing what you like. Now everybody's light blue is gonna be a little bit different, don't worry. It's not a competition. But I want you to just have a little bit of just freedom picking and choosing which ones do you want? Which one do you want? Blue? Which one do you want? Some greens and reds and purples. And these are just anything with a pastel, you're just gonna add a little bit of white. So now I started with blue because I know I'm gonna add a little bit of red into my pastel um, blue, light blue, and I'm gonna add that. That's gonna turn into light pastel purple. And then this is where you can really see a new color come and because there's plain white in that pastel, it's helping cover up some of the old stuff. Learning all the tricks of the trade, aren't you? Yep. That's the best part, is learning all these little details. <laughs> and this is the majority of our painting, is just really gonna be working on a lot of these colors. Now, I like the blue maybe there, so I might make that a purple. I don't know, I wanna maybe split it up a little bit. And that is awesome. You can pick and choose how to make your land. 
Isn't that amazing? You can like literally as an artist pick and choose wherever you want how to make your painting work out for you, whichever way you like it. There's no right or wrong way of doing that, okay? So just believe in that. So look at we've got our base colors of everything. It's so awesome, such a great step. Go ahead and rinse that brush off. We're gonna go ahead and start working on some details, shadowings, highlights, lowlights. We're gonna let that dry off for just a moment and continue. All right, so part of our details is, we can see that we want maybe some of that yellow highlight to come all the way down. You see how right here you can see some of that blue coming in the green? That's background stuff. We don't want that stuff to show. We actually wanna go ahead and get rid of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some plain white. You can use a small brush, but I'm using that flat brush and I'm getting rid of it. Just putting a little bit of a layer of plain white right over it, just to get rid of some of that. And then eventually we'll actually probably add some color on there, but not blue, not green. We're gonna add yellow. We're gonna continue that highlighted effect. I'm gonna do the same over here. I want these things to look like it's actually happening in life. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here because I'm gonna add some red onto that too. And now you can see we're getting into detail. Detail is fun because that way you know you're kind of getting into the mix of like just making this painting come together. And that's what's awesome. Okay, all I'm doing is adding a few, maybe some red highlights on here. Now it looks a little purple, which is just fine by me. That's okay. Maybe that's kind of a low light or a highlight of that. It's fine. I'm gonna just go with it, go with the flow. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of purple on here and just see how I can just make this look even better. Even more purple. Sometimes if you add a little bit of white on there too, that brightens it up. Because remember, that was a pretty dark purple, honestly. So maybe I wanna just be like, you know what? I wanna lighten that bad boy up. I wanna make it look a little bit more vibrant. You can do that with your pastel. Ah, yeah, let's go. Here we go. And look at that. I just brightened that thing up like crazy right there. Just with a few brush strokes. Awesome, awesome stuff. I love when you start seeing this painting come together. Okay, I'm adding some plain white on the brush here and just adding some highlights coming off of the top, just kind of just streaking right, just like a firework would just kind of streak right in the sky. It's gonna come right off of this. What this does is now it starts to add texture, it starts to add a little bit more of something special. And that's exactly what you wanna do. Now let's go ahead and add some low lights. It's okay, if I'm gonna use that same pastel thing, but I'm gonna use a darker purple and I'm gonna add some shadowing. I'm gonna come down here, my shadows are down here. I'm just taking my flat brush and I'm just blending some of that darker paint in here. Maybe a little bit more blue just to darken it. Look at that, look at what the blue does to that. Purple, just darkens it up. Okay, I'm gonna do the same down here. Low lights, just blending in a little bit of a darker purple. Again, this is all improv. Uh, I want you to make it your own too. Okay, everybody's gonna have their own take on this and that's exactly what art is, so don't overthink it. Don't try to compare. Don't say I'm like, ah, oh, this person's better than me. No, 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 no. That doesn't happen. Say hells to the no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Alright, as you can see, I'm just adding some light shadows on my purple, blending it in, flat brush. And as you can see, look at that. We've got some dimension starting to come out. It's really like such a fun atmospheric step. I mean, you could just just keep working on this for so long. Obviously we're not going to, but 
this is where details come in. This is how it is. This is an artist like just keep on adding more and more layers and eventually it starts coming alive. This painting starts to come alive. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more red on my brush just so I can get over here. Oh, then a little bit of blue got in there, no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna add some shadowing on this guy. And as you can see, I'm fine tuning some of my edges now. And now you can see it's a little bit more angled. You can see it's not as sloppy. You can see I'm, I'm fine tuning stuff, making my lines a little bit better with the color that I'm using. Okay. That's what it's all about. Having fun. Let the brush do that work for you. I know I talk a lot during this, so it's just for your support, that's all. Okay, beautiful. All right, we're gonna let that dry off for a few and then we're gonna add some highlights. We're gonna go the opposite direction here. You know what, in fact, you know what, honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and forget that. Let's add some, uh, I'm gonna get, grab a new brush, add some plain blue. And I'm gonna add some shadows into my blue cactus now. I added a little bit of plain blue on a flat brush, a new brush, okay? And I'm just adding some shadows on my blue just to make that pop now. Sometimes you just need to step back away from your canvas too and just see, oh, does this look good? Does this look better? And 10 times more, it looks better, okay? I promise you, when you step back, take a few steps back if you need to, go across the other room and just look at it and be like, oh, wow, okay. You know what, actually it's coming together. I see what's going on now. So sometimes the paint is still drying and you just gotta go with it and just let it do its thing. Okay, you can keep adding more and more paint, but it's just gonna keep blending in. So I'm gonna let that sit, but honestly, look at that one. That one's choppy too, I don't like that one. I'm gonna go ahead and start fixing this guy. It's choppy. Let's go ahead and fine tune it just a little bit more. All the rest are fine tuned. Why not do this for this guy? Again, I'm gonna add a little bit of white on that brush to help the pastel come you know, cover the rest of the paint in the background. There we go. All right. And you see, we're moving along. That's how fast these paintings just go, man. It's crazy. I'm doing these like tutorials, like wow, the time went by so quick. There's that. And remember to breathe. <laughs> I always tell people that. Some people just hold their breath while doing this. Breathe. Breathe, people. Look at those highlights, plain white. Look at that. Nice! That's where it's next. We're gonna do some highlights, guys, all right? We're getting there. This painting's coming together. You can see it's just layer after layer after layer. We're gonna make it all happen, guys. Love okay. it. Okay, so the next few steps are so awesome because we're starting to get into like our, we're home free. Like this painting is almost done. It's hard to believe that, I know that, because we're adding a lot of our base layers. We're already done with that. And all we're doing is we're adding some, maybe some highlights now into our like awesome painting that we've done. Look at that. I'm just gonna add a little bit, a tiny bit of plain white and I'm adding some highlights in here. Well, trust me, we'll go back and forth with our highlights and lowlights, but I just added a little bit of white and I added that on top. Look at that with that blue. I'm gonna just continue with the same color, the blue for now. And I'm just again, a tiny little bit. And I'm all I'm doing is gonna go back and forth between highlights and low lights. And this will change your dynamic and your texture of your entire painting so quickly, so quickly, people. Okay, that's a lot actually right there. I don't know if I want that much, but you know what, whatever. I'll come back with 
Low lights. Low lights. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the best thing is, man. Like, this, this is the fun part. You can just come in here and you can just start messing with this painting. Now you're seeing, de you're going to see detail come out. You're going to see dimension come out. Oh, yeah. We've got this. We've got this. Okay, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot. Star it up with some little streaks. Again, I'm using a pretty big brush. You can use small brushes. You can switch brushes. Don't feel like you got to use like a big brush like me. All right, I want you to go ahead and find the brush that you're going to feel comfortable with now because we are getting into those detail steps. Look at that. That dried off a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit more. And that's all this is, folks. That's it. Going back and forth. Okay. Just continuing to find that right step. Now, as you can see, I let that dry off right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a plain yellow. Look at that. Ooh, you remember that? Remember that? We added that plain white right there? Look at that. Just adding highlights now. Plain yellow and white just to brighten this thing up and break it up even more. Again, this is such a cool step because you can go back and forth between highlights and low lights and change the whole dynamic of this painting in just an instant. It's so quick and fast how this happens. It's so amazing. Look at that. And you can fine tune these lines. It gives you the opportunity to even make these lines even better. Oh man, look at that. Oh, this is great. My enthusiasm on this is just amazing. I like, I love doing this. I love helping people like, you know, and I, I find that I can surprise myself every once in a while too. It's just like, oh man, I did that? What? Look at that. You're defining it now. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna add some more um, highlights on your purple. We're gonna do the highlights in the green. I'm gonna go ahead and set this brush down. You kind of do that. You go back and forth between brushes a lot with this because you're going into highlight mode and you're going into low light mode. And we've got multiple different colors. So that changes things dramatically too. So look at these highlights right here. Again, let me add some plain white. Almost has like a minty look right there. Now I, yeah, I do live in Arizona, so yes, I do pump. I have to pump the air conditioning because uh, today I think we were hitting a temperature of 105. I would want to say uh, we had some storms come in, but man, oh man, it still left um, everything pretty dang toasty. No joke, man. Arizona gets too hot. I'm an Orange County guy, that's for sure. Got spoiled with that weather. Okay, I'm adding just plain white on my brush and just letting it blend a little bit on the tops. And again, we'll go back with maybe some low lights, but let it blend, let it go in there. Let it, let it do its, what it's supposed to do. Let that brush do that work, okay? You don't have to do a whole lot to make that happen. You can always go back and fix stuff. You can always just go back and change things. Okay, I'm gonna use a big, man, not that big brush, not that big brush. That's the thing, sometimes I run out of brushes. All right, let's add some white. And my purple. Ooh, that is a lot of white, so we're gonna go ahead and just try to blend this a little bit in there. Sometimes that happens where you get that big scoop of white you didn't mean to, but just make it work for you. There you go, tiny bit. Now let's do this guy over here. Oh yeah, and all this does just just adds depth. Total different vibe to this painting. One more of a 3D look. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, you got this. Like a boss. Now, let's do this. Add a dot right here. Let's add some highlights right here. Little streaks of white, like a full firework again, kind of going off. And man, <laughs> ah, it's coming together. Look at that, guys. Those white streaks, I tell you, man, adds that cool highlighted effect, texturized, and like just totally changes it. So cool. Let's add a little bit of red into my white here. See if I can get some highlights on these guys. Pink. Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh, look at look at what that just did. Man, a little bit of pink. Now I would rate this as I would say a pretty difficult painting at especially one of my painting events. This was a special request. And I said, sure, you know what, mine as well. You know, I, I want to do something different too. I've got so many paintings and you know what? I always like to challenge myself. Now, as I do this though, I am rating it and I will say that yes, this is one of the more of the difficult types of paintings um, because we're going to go back and forth so much. A lot of people just have a tough time doing that and it's okay, but you know what? They wanted it and they're going to get it. They're gonna get this. They're gonna get this bad boy. They're gonna get a little, figure this out real quick. Special requests are funny because they, they um, find one that they really like, but might not know what goes really into it. And so that happens. It's from time to time. I wanna go ahead and get some mint here. I know I'm like mixing colors now and I don't like that, but you know what, I got some brush. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add some highlights. That's another thing, I just kind of like messed that up a little bit. Just find what you've been using. Um, you know, a, if there's a brush with some of that available paint still on it, use it. Okay. All right, now, you can see I'm just adding these little bit of highlights. I'm gonna go back with low lights now. And what I mean by low lights, all I'm gonna do is just put the plain color on my brush and just go from the bottom part, like the opposite area. And I'm gonna add these little lights. I'm just starting off with the green just to show you. You can start with whatever color you like, but again, I, like I said before, going back and forth between low lights, high lights, low lights, highlights, layer after layer after layer. Eventually we finish this painting up and knock it out of the park, guys. You're on point. We're almost done. See, highlights, low lights, highlights, low lights. Do whatever you like. I'm gonna give you that time to work on that. And then we're gonna start working on our final bit of details within this painting. And I hope you are just sticking with it and enjoying it. Well, 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 you know, as we continue on, you can keep adding low lights, highlights, whatever you'd like to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like wrap this up with some of like the final steps. I'm taking a small brush and you can use one with a point, a flat head, whatever you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and start adding maybe a little few dots everywhere. What this starts to look like, guys, is like literally like little spikes or little thorns on this cactus. This is a great step because it's so easy for you to just, you know, you just press that brush nice and easy. Just have fun with it. I'm gonna be using yellow, but eventually what I'm gonna do is add some plain white too on there. Um, just to give it some highlighted effect. But what it does is it totally changes the dimension and shape of, of these cactus. I look at it and you can go fast. Like you don't even need to like take your time. You know, some people really take so much time. I'd say usually the faster you go, the better it kind of turns out. Sometimes 
it like really just makes it look a little bit more natural. Like you just kind of like, oh, whoa, there it is. There, that's how it is. That's what happens in nature, folks. Okay, it's not perfect out there. Let me tell you. Okay, so this is so cool. Like it's just like a prickly pear. And you can add these into your highlights up here. All right. Oh man, this is so fun. You're gonna get some exercise, doing some dots. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of time, but don't worry, just have fun with it, okay? Have fun with this. This is, this is like when you're like finally kind of getting done with your painting, when you start seeing these little details come out, that means you're getting close. That's what it is, guys. This is a great fun time. And I'm gonna put these all over. It's like almost just like naturally just, this is what happens in nature. You get these specks and these dots and all these things going on. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna kind of follow the line here with these guys, the big circle ones, the ones in the back. I'm gonna kind of just go with the flow of the line. Gives it a little bit more of that realistic look with those kind of, kind of cactus. You gotta remember, yeah. Yeah, there are some cactus out there that do follow a certain pattern, all right? Some don't have that kind of all over thing. Some just kind of go with the flow of, you know, how we actually made those highlights happen. There we go. And it's so funny because like, Today, I'm, I'm like, just so sunburned. Yeah, I went out in the pool for a little while and with my kids, yeah, I've got some awesome kids, man. My kids rock, I love my kids. Slater and Skylar, you guys are just uh, like the best. I love you guys so much. And they do an amazing job um, keeping their dad feeling good, especially during a time like right now. Right now, I'm going through a transition in life right now, um, not a, you know, changing anything or whatever, you know, it's mostly just actually I'm going through, um, <laughs> what do you want to call it? I guess you can call it, yes, let's call it a divorce. <laughs> uh, I've never gone through one. This is my first time ever going through it. Um, it's so wild and I'm, I'm having a tough time through it because, you know, obviously that's not what you want in life, but Sometimes you have to make decisions that better your life a little bit more. And that's what I'm going through, you know? And so my kids are actually there for me. They're like, like totally cool about everything. They understand, um, you know, they're, they, they I, I, I look up to them almost now. Um, so I'm, I'm so glad I can actually do something like that. But yeah, yeah, it's one of those things in life, huh folks? Hey <laughs> everybody. I don't know, some people can make it work, some people can't, you know, and uh, I did it for a long time, and you know, now it's time for a new chapter in my life. And um, I've gotta be excited for it. Now, okay, what I did right now is I just put some plain white on my brush, so I'm adding a little bit of highlights on some of these dots. Not all of them, but just some. Just to give it like a little bit of like, oh, whoa, that's a little different over there. And thank you so much for, you know, being a part of this, watching this. Um, you know, I hope that I can grow um, everything in this channel and, you know, just help people. That's my goal is to really help people and just enjoy a new different kind of way of enjoying art. That's what my events are all about. Um, I hope that maybe one day that I can actually paint with you in the future, like in a live in-person show, those are way more entertaining, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, we definitely party, we have an amazing time, and um, like I said, uh, I really hope that maybe one day that you and I can get together and paint together, because it's fun, man, we just, we just let loose. We just enjoy whatever we're doing. We uh, forget about the world that we're in, Sometimes, and sometimes you're dealing with some stuff in life, you know, like I am, you know, and it's okay. You are um, amazing the way you are, okay? Just, just remember that, you know, the odds of becoming a human are 
um, so vastly wild. And so if you can remember that, that it, it just, I mean, you're so lucky to be who you are and in a time that you are. So, you know, enjoy who you are, be who you are, love who you are, uh, embrace it, okay? And again, I know I'm getting all a little gushy guru on you here, but it's only because I care. I care about people quite a bit, actually. Okay, but as you can see, guys, we just wrapped up this painting, all right? Now, typically as an artist, what I like to do is sign this thing off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a small brush. Uh, this is a dark color down here, so I'm gonna use that. And those are your details. I'm gonna go ahead and just add my signature, and I like to put the year, it's 22, 22, 2022. All right, have fun with it again, guys. Let loose, enjoy it, much love to you, and there you go.